All right, so if you can't tell, I'm pretty excited for this book. The Green Lantern, number one, written by Grant Morrison. I got the costume, I got the poster that I got for purchasing this comic. So what I think of this comic, meh. Yeah, I, I said it. It, 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 was, it was meh. It was meh. Now, that's kind of why I'm disappointed with this book. I, I was expecting it to be really good, but I'm kind of disappointed that it was just meh. Now, don't get me wrong, I am going to get the second issue. This wasn't bad by any means, it was just okay. So we see some Green Lanterns taking care of some, you know, Green Lantern shenanigans. And one of the Green Lanterns goes into a ship and gets killed by something that we find out at the end of the issue. And there's something going on about a luck dial, something weird about that. And the prisoners that the Green Lanterns, and the prisoners that these two random Green Lanterns caught basically take over this ship because they have a luck dial and they go to Earth. Now, I'm not gonna lie, in this, Hal Jordan seems a little bit of a of a weenie, to put it lightly. He's with some chick, so Hal Jordan gets jumped by a bunch of hobos who turn out to be aliens, and he he beats them up, and there's a ship that crashed that is the ship from the, be from the beginning that the prisoners took over. So he goes there, finds a Green Lantern, and the Green Lantern's like, oh, the, the, the prisoners escaped, they're all over Earth, they're gonna take over, you know, they're, they're really the bad, people and Hal Jordan says well I don't have my power battery I can't charge up my ring and the Green Lantern says you know what you could use mine and there's an awesome sequence where he says the Green Lantern oath which is awesome this is one of the parts that where Hal Jordan seems a little bit of a um a weenie he goes nobody panic chill I got this it doesn't really seem like Hal so Hal puts away the prisoners into like this jar and the guardians call him back to Oa and on Oa or new Oa this Guardian is telling Hal that the Book of Oa is apparently all bullcrap and that it can't be trusted. And then he mentioned something about there being X-ray lanterns, radio lanterns, gamma lanterns, and microwave lanterns, which we did see the ultraviolet lanterns in the Justice League book. I don't know, it's just a little weird. And the Guardian says, you know, we need to have a talk. And then we cut to these guys deep inside Asteroid X, which is the headquarters of controller Muse Black Stars. And they have the anti-matter lantern, which looks basically like Hal Jordan. So I'm assuming in the next issue, Hal Jordan is gonna be accused of killing the lantern because, you know, it, the, this anti-matter lantern looks like Hal Jordan. But yeah, like I said, this was meh. It, it, it was just all right, and that's all I can say about it. It wasn't, I, I was expecting it to be great just because it's Grant Morrison, but that was kind of like how I felt with Bendis, that the first issue of the Superman book would be great, but no, it was actually horrible, and then the second issue was better, the third issue was better, and then the fourth issue was the best out of all of them. So hopefully, that this will be the same with this book. Then we also get a double page splash thingy of the coming soon, which looks like he's gonna be teaming up with Green Arrow, and looks like some other things are gonna be happening, so I, I mean, I'm gonna stick with the book until it really starts getting bad. I hope it doesn't get bad, but we'll have to see. But my problem is, is that this is a big deal that Grant Morrison is writing a Green Lantern book that's supposed to start a, a new story and, and you don't have to read the last 20 years of Green Lantern. You could start from right here with Green Lantern. And it wasn't that good. That's a little bit of a problem. And yeah, you know, I do like how this is a fresh start on Green Lantern. And yes, I like Green Lantern, but I'm not the biggest fan of Green Lantern where I, I, I've read the last 20 to 30 years of Green Lantern stories. I haven't, obviously. And this is refreshing to get a fresh start on Green Lantern. So yeah, it, if you want to read Green Lantern, this is definitely the best spot to pick up Green Lantern and start reading. So yeah, like I said, just a little bit disappointing how it wasn't great, it was just meh, so I guess this will be one of Grant Morrison's meh titles. But um, yeah guys, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, why don't you give this video a like and check out some of the other videos that we have here posted on the channel. And if you like those videos as well as this one, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel as well. So guys, I'll see you in the next one.